Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss how you can set up low level security using secured views in Snowflake. Okay. So let me first discuss about low level security little bit. So already in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about column level security, right? Also, I discussed data anonymization in Snowflake using the column level security that is nothing but dynamic data masking, where Basically, we try to hide some particular columns based on users, okay? And for some other particular users, we want to display that actual column values. If the business requirement is like that, then we go with dynamic data masking, right? So basically, some columns we are hiding, some columns we are displaying, that comes under column level security, okay? Now, same thing if you can try to implement on row level, that will be considered as row level security. That is based on role or based on user, certain rows will be displayed and for some users, certain rows will not be displayed. If you want to create that kind of setup, that is nothing but coming under row level security. Okay. So, how is that particular row level security works? That basically shown in this particular diagram. Okay. So suppose we are having three teams, one is HR team, one is technical team, another one is marketing team, okay? So these are users and each users are given their corresponding roles like all the HR employees are given HR related role, all the technical employees are given technical role and all the marketing uh, domain employees are given marketing role, okay? So basically the account admin has created three different roles for these three different departments, okay? And finally, all of them, for all of them, the final goal is querying the Snowflake employee table. Okay, there is one employee table. But what we want, we want to display only the HR employee information to those users who are belonging to HR team. Okay, we want to display only employees who are belonging to technical department for this technical department users. Okay, I don't want to display those employees details who are working in HR domain to the technical employee. Okay. Same like for marketing employees. So if some marketing team member is querying this particular snowflake table, which contain all the employee information for a particular company, then as they are belonging to marketing team, so they should only able to view the marketing department's information, not the other department information. Okay. So that is nothing but coming under low level security. Okay. We are not showing unnecessarily other departments information and that how we can do for that. We can use the concept of secure view and policy. Okay. How secure view is helping us to achieve that. Let me discuss with snowflake code. Okay. So first step what we are doing drop database if exist RAMU. So as a first step we are dropping the RAMU database. Okay. So if I refresh see RAMU database is not there currently I am in account admin. Then here we are creating the database RAMU and here we are creating an employee table and we are inserting some amount of data as you can see here HR, technical and marketing. These three different domain related data are present. Okay. So if I execute that insert query, seven rows got inserted and now if I do select star from this particular table, we will be able to see all the seven records. Okay. So if I refresh this particular place, here RAMU database came under the public schema. Here we are seeing employee table. Okay. Right. Now what we will do? So in Snowflake, basically you can use this particular query to get the current role. Okay. So if you execute select current role, you will be getting account admin because currently I'm in an account admin. Okay. And this is one of the most powerful SQL query which you can use to make role level security. Okay. And that is how. So as a first step, what we are doing, we are creating a secure view. Okay. So I hope you know what is secure view that is for security or privacy reason. If you don't want to expose the underlying table of a view or the internal structure of a view, then that time you can go with secure view, right? So what we are doing, we are basically cre executing create or replace secure view VW employee as select e or start from this particular employees table where e dot department equal to the current role okay so if the department name is matching with current role only those set of data only that result set we will be displaying in this view result okay so try to understand here itself the concept of the row level security is coming 
So what we will do for different departments, we will be creating different different roles. Okay, for HR department, HR role, for marketing department, marketing role, for technical department, technical role. And then to all the users who are belonging to a particular department, we will be assigning their corresponding department role. Okay, when they will try to query this particular view, okay, they will not know the underlying table. So that, that means they will never able to grab the complete data of this employee table. But rather whenever they will query this particular view, that time what will happen? The department will be having a comparison with the current role. And suppose one HR domain employee is querying this particular table. So basically department of this employee's table is equal to current role. So HR employee when they are executing that means they are using HR role. So basically current role for that particular HR user and the department will be matching and those set of records only will be returned as a result set for that particular HR employee as part of the select query of this view. Right? That's the simple concept. So you see here currently view got successfully created and now what we will do? Suppose I am executing select star. So currently we will be seeing no record. You might ask why? The reason is very simple. We have not given any data in our employees table, which is having this department account admin. Okay. So only department are HR technical marketing. And currently I am querying from account admin. So what is happening when querying this particular view internally it is comparing that whether department is account admin and current role are matching or not. But there is no department which is having the name account admin, right? So obviously it will not be matching and it is returning nothing. Very simple, right? Now here comes the important part. What we are doing for three different groups or departments in our company, we are creating three different roles, okay? And it is basically aligned with the department name, HR Technical Marketing, okay? Right? So here if you see in our table here, this is uh, in small letter also capital small mixed up is there, but that is not an issue because while comparing internally in the secure view, we are converting both of them into upper, okay? So capital letter will be compared, so not an issue. And for all these roles, we are granting the warehouse access okay because when the different departments employee will try to execute select query they need some warehouse right so we are giving permission to this particular warehouse okay right and then obviously they need the database access also because by default any user only having snowflake sample data as database which i already covered in my previous videos where i explained in detail about different roles and users concept in snowflake so you can go through that so to allow this particular Lamu database to view, we have to grant this particular one also, that is usage to this particular database. But if we just simply give usage to this database, only information schema will be visible, but our secure view will be actually in public schema, right? In public schema, our view is there. So we have to grant usage to public schema as well to all these employees. Okay. So once we do that, what is the next step? We have to grant the select permission on the views as well. So what is our view name? VW employee, right? So our view name is VW employee. So we are granting that as well. Okay. Different, different roles, simple query. All these queries I'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section. No need to worry about the code. Okay. Now here comes the tricky part. What we will do? We'll create three different users for three different departments. One for HR department, one for technical, one for marketing. So create or replace user Jadu HR is the basically username and password is this one. And we are assigning HR role to this user. Okay. Right. So it is done. And then here we are creating one user for marketing, Mimo marketing. And we are assigning the marketing role to Mimo marketing. Okay. And then here. We are creating Gmo technical, okay, giving the password and the role technical we are assigning to this user, okay. So perfectly we have assigned, right. Now let's see the beauty. I will be copying this particular link. I will be opening new incognito window. So here I will be pasting one for HR, one for marketing and one for technical, okay. Everyone will query same. Uh, same snowflake account basically. So first what I will do, I will log in with Jadu HR. Okay. In HR department, let's log in first. Okay. So just wait for a few seconds. Here snowflake, let snowflake login interface come up. So here login interface came. I'll be pasting that 
and username is done for the HR and we'll be pasting the password as well okay so here we'll paste the password and we'll log in in the HR account now we will do the same for the next user who is basically the marketing team Nemo marketing this username will be pasting okay and the password also will be copying from here and then here will be pasting okay we will sign in and for the third one also which is basically technical gmotech username given and password also we have given right now what we will try to do we will try to execute this select query on the secure thing okay that is this particular one copy that go to incognito window and let it open so now i will minimize this i will just close this particular one and then here i will click on next let me close this and i will paste this query okay so currently we are in hr account okay so here you can see jadu hr is there so here the ramu database itself is not feasible the reason is we are not in the proper role so i will change the role to hr because all the hr employees are given the hr role okay and you see compute wh is access is also we have given and see now ramu database is coming here also ramu database is coming if we expand that in the public schema here we are only able to see few employee we are not able to see actual base table because what is actual base table actual base table is employees which we have not given permission to any of the users okay or any of the roles now when we execute the select star what will happen internally internally this particular query will be executed that is this one okay i will be taking that there so that it will be easy for you to understand and what will happen if you can understand in a better way so now the department is hr okay and the role is also used as hr role okay so see here we are using hr role so now in this particular base table when the department name is hr and the actual role name what this employee is using is also hr matching so that way only hr related information will be returned from this particular view but actually this employee don't have access to this particular table even they don't know what is the actual query because this is we are using secured view right secured view don't display the actual query which is actually working in the back end of that view right so if i execute run query then see here from this view we are only able to get what only the hr department related information although in our base table here hr marketing technical different different department related information are there but we have created the secured view in such a way that if the department and the corresponding role of that user is matching only those records you should display from the base table to the result set okay and that's how it is working so jadu hr is belonging to hr department and as the department name and the role is matching only for these three records that's why it is showing no other rows are displayed for the hr department related employees okay so now i have shown you for one particular user you can assign the same role to all the employees of the hr department in your company that way they can only query the employee table okay such that only hr related information will be feasible and that way we are making sure that other departments information that is that can be technical that can be marketing those unnecessary informations are not coming and that way we are making our whole system more secure okay so now what i will do i will go to the another one here so this particular role is memo marketing basically one user of marketing department so currently we are in public one so i will be switching the role to marketing okay so then what we'll do we'll try to query the secured view so again same kind of concept will be applicable that as the department name marketing will match with the role name marketing so only marketing related information will be feasible for this particular user okay they even cannot see any underlying structure or the internal uh, structural details of the secured view okay right so that way we will be seeing for this so let's wait for a couple of seconds so here i'll be changing the role to marketing and warehouse basically we have given the compute wh access 
see in the ramu database in the public schema here this view is visible okay so if i paste that no sorry not this one basically max to max the employee can query this particular view so cd start from this one okay so let's query this particular table and see here now only marketing department information is visible okay and even they cannot know the sql okay so if you just click on view sql it will show error why because this is a secured view it is not a normal view right so like for example if i execute run once here if you go to query id this one and then if you go to profiles here you cannot see what is the filter condition applied in the underlying table because this is a secured field right it is hiding the complete thing under a black box okay that's how we have seen that although marketing department and hr department both are querying same view but due to their role based filtering they are able to get different different result okay now we will do the same for the technical body okay so here i will close this particular one i will change the role to technical okay so now if i paste this particular one let's run this one okay see we are able to see only the results of those employees who are belonging to technical department why because in the underlying query of the secured view the department name is matching with the role name which basically we are executing right so this is one of the easiest approach to create row level security in snowflake okay you can add lot of things and make this particular simple concept to an advanced level with some twists and tricks right but this is the base concept i hope you understood got the feeling and that's how we are implementing row level security okay so whichever users will be querying the same table based on the secured view and based on the role we can show different different results right all the course i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos thank you